Okay, today I'm going to give you a very brief overview of the Spooky software features. I'm going to be running it in test mode, so you can download this uh, for free and, you know, test it out before you even buy your hardware. When you get to that dialog box, we'll be running it in test mode. So this is the first screen you will get to. If you notice, if you hover over a particular area, your tooltips will give you information, more information about what that feature is. I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is tick this box so that I can see all of the tabs here. If it's unticked, it's basically just these four tabs, but if I tick it, you'll see that we have now settings, system, internet tabs available to us. Um, the presets tab um, shows all of the different features. This is set up pretty much like the Windows uh, Explorer section of your computer uh, where it's basically a tree of information. I can select biofeedback and then basically expand what all is involved. I can go back a setting or I can go to the home setting but anyway your preset collection is listed here so as you can see you have a biofeedback section cancer detox environmental frequency sweeps a uh, healing um, programs um, miscellaneous Morgellons and Lyme and then the shell empty presets are ones that you build yourself and the user presets are the ones that you save um, and build yourself. So I'll just give you an example. The first uh, um, preset that is recommended to be run in order to um, clear out, clear your detox pathways is the uh, detox and I'm going to focus on just remote terrain and this shows you uh, the different presets that are chained together so this is designed to run for 11 straight days without any uh, manipulation of the software or hardware and you can read read uh, all the information about it here in the notes section it's very comprehensive you'll notice that um, one of the first one here is remove metals and if you go over here you can see that the remove metals uh, this these are the individual programs that are are actually part of this particular uh, preset uh, let's see here if there's another remove metals uh, let's see chemical toxins yeah anyway so here's if you read through this you'll you'll see what's involved all right so now we can select the settings again are already preloaded so you don't have to worry about it click on your control tab you'll always want to click on allow generator overwrites before you click on a generator button and then we'll start it. So this was will run for 11 straight days. It just shows that the first uh, preset is going to be a one hour and five minute loop time, but it's going to run for 24 hours straight uh, based on the programming of the preset. You'll notice that it has a total of 15 presets in the chain and we're running preset number one. Okay, so I'll close this particular window, go back to the presets. I can go to my home page again. And uh, the other thing I wanted to point out to you is that there are the uh, cancer and the detox and environmental and uh, Morgellons and Lyme all have their own PDF guides available. So if you click on it, you will see how to run the protocol. 
based on your rig, whether you're doing it remote or with plasma or with contact or a combination of all of them. All right, I'll go back to my home page. Um, environmental is for primarily um, household pests and mold. The frequency sweeps are designed for, uh, you know, a range of pathogens. Uh, your healing. If I wanted to run these as a chain, if I wanted to run one after the other, I'll show you this feature. Um, you can actually select. Uh, this is this is actually chaining presets. So if you select this one and click on the arrow down it will put it in this preset chain and then you can right click it as well let's see here let's see if it works yeah okay I guess you have to highlight it first and then right click it there you go and now I can save that as a chain now let's see here oh they already have one yeah. Oh well. Chain. Yeah, I'll save it. Uh, when I go back to my user presets, I can go back to chain, and now I can run this as a chain of presets. And that's that feature. So I'll close my control panel go back to presets go back to the home page let's see if there's anything else my user I'll have a number of things that I have created let's see what else I can mention more gallons and lime is very comprehensive a lot of work has gone into this so you can see all the different presets that have been a part that have been created by the spooky team so that you don't have to input this manually it's a great effort let's see what else I can say here uh, miscellaneous eh, let's see here yeah we can uh, you can see that there's one that's called a broad spectrum antibiotic which is the greatest hits top 100 most often occurring frequencies in the spooky database so that's a interesting feature go back home your programs you can search for pain click on enter and you can see that there's 204 programs that have something to do with pain you can double click it to load it um, that's just I'm just want to demonstrate how you can search for it you can search for uh, let's say mind you know if you're looking to mess with brain fog or whatever you can look at these anyway you've got 71 to pick from you can do that um, your settings really when you're first beginning just leave the settings alone and select your presets and you'll be fine when you get to be an advanced user you can come in and manipulate this area you'll notice that if I hover over the green generators it'll show me what's currently running your system tab has various options but we won't really go into that at the moment um, there's you can see where I can load the molecular weight uh, uh, molecular weight database uh, or programs to the database this is the generator count and this shows the databases in use if I had hardware connected the generators or the spooky pulse heart monitor it would be reflected in this pane right here and the internet tab has to do with oh, emailing support but you basically have to have 
Microsoft Outlook or a Pop Mail server um, preset up for that. And this is your errors tab. If you have any errors that are going on with your generators, it'll be also reflected in this area. <clears throat> this is the generator count. If I had five generators connected, this would be GC5. Um, REO, RE0 is uh, response errors. So if you have a lot of response errors, that means you're having communication issues between your computer and your generator. And then this is the generator error number so that if this showed generator error 2, that would mean that my generator 2 is, is having errors um, related to it. You can also take screenshots that are um, will take a screenshot of every tab that's open. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them. And they will be in your C Spooky 2 data folder. That's where you would find them. And each time you take a screenshot, it will overwrite the um, labeled or named screenshots. So if you want to preserve one, just uh, rename it. So that is it. I definitely want to give a shout out to the credits section. Um, this is the team that's been working so hard to provide this technology to all of us average users and uh, all of these folks have spent countless number of hours helping everybody out and this is a, a users group it's all volunteer but uh, you'll see a lot of these names that you recognize the myself right here is referred to uh, John White is referring to himself he's the author of the software and uh, we give great thanks to these folks for helping everybody out and making this technology available to the world. Uh, all of these folks are located all over the place, all over the world. So this is truly a, a global effort. So thanks again for providing this to us. So that's it for today, folks. I uh, hope this has been helpful to you. It's a very broad brush, and they could go into a lot more detail. But as a beginner, this is plenty of information for you to know about. It gives you an overview of how it's set up. You can explore the database before purchasing any hardware. Um, and uh, I hope it's been helpful to you.